Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner. 22 years old, official height 174 centimeter, official weight 61 kilogram, professional record for wins five losses, representing Grand Golf Gym Estonia, Polina Golubeva. <laughs> Fighting out of the red corner. 19 years old, official height 173 centimeter, official weight 62 kilogram, hate professional record 12 wins, one by knockout, four losses. Baltic kickboxing champion, Estonian Muay Thai champion, representing Counter Fight Club Estonia, Sigrid Kapane. Ring referee Rafael Spashaeva's dream boxing rules, three rounds, three minutes each. Three times three. This is Estonia versus Estonia this time. Is there a crowd favorite? That is the question. Didn't seem to me. They, they Both ladies had support here mm. from the fans. So all that's left to do and see what they can do in the bell ring. Round Here we go. one. Boy, this one's starting out more like a kickboxing bout than a boxing bout, the way these two are going at it. No kidding. No warm up here. As you said, young ladies, 22 years of age versus 19 years of age. Well, Kapanen is very active. Uh, I've, I've noticed that in King of Kings, a lot of the fighters, they only want to fight in KOK in their own country. Uh, you know, they have crowd support here. Um, they have sponsors. They have all these. Kapanen will fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. She's, she's fought in more countries than just uh, in her native Estonia. And she doesn't care who she fights. Well, 16 matches under her belt. She just likes to fight. And obviously, I guess the rule set doesn't matter very much to her either. Well, fearlessness is definitely an attribute that you're, uh, that is going to favor you in the fight game. Kapanen is a Finnish last name, by the way. I guess some of that Finnish, Estonian, I could just say intermixing. Up against the ropes there, got in a few shots. Does seem to be like Golubova, just the way she's standing and the way she's moving in the ring just seems to be more like a boxer. She, she just has that vibe to her. Whereas Kapanen still carrying herself more like a kickboxer, I think. Seems to be a lot more slower, taking her time in there, watching her opponents, a lot more feigns and moving uh, from Golubova. A little bit a, light, a lot lighter on her feet. You can just tell, it's more airy. Still just the feeling out process going on. Well, it, it did kind of explode there right at the beginning, but now things have kind of calmed down and resembling more of a boxing match here. Maybe both ladies got smart to it quick, realizing that uh, the way that they were starting out wasn't going to take them very far. And now measuring their blows. Like Kapanen is very slowly trying to cut down to the ring and then do some damage. But uh, Golubeva has so much good movement, it's hard to do that. End of this round. Time! There we go. Well, you can see the, the face of Golubeva as we get a look at it right here. Certainly some reddening on the nose, on the forehead. Kapanen looks pretty clean over there. Oh, she does. And she's got that pale skin as well, too, so you'd be able to tell if she caught a couple of good shots or not. It, it does seem to me like Kapanen got in the, got in a few more licks than her opponent that time. He goes back and take a look at some highlights from round number one. Kapanen seems to be the more 
active fighter throwing punches. There's a lot more movement coming from Goluveva. Uh, but I may score round number one at least in favor of Kapane. Fighters! Second round. This is a very important fight here for Kapanen too, because just looking at the box rack of uh, Golubeva, you can see she won her first fight, and all the rest were losses. And that's the way it very often goes in boxing: is uh, they only want to build undefeated, emerging young superstars. And it, that first loss you get, a lot of times people never recover from that loss, or the matchmakers tend to just make it more lopsided after you uh, get that first loss. So Kapanen here in her debut needs to get the win. Uh, and if she gets the loss, the same thing could happen to her that happened to Golubeva. Golubeva really is that a reddening of the face, you can really tell. She's taken a few. Oh boy, and you can tell she's got a lot more snap in her shots than Golubeva does. She's very patient, she's really taking her time in there, but then when it's time to throw the heavy leather, boy, does she throw it. It looks largely like Kapanen has Golubeva on her bicycle. That's well, going to wear her down after these rounds, and I, I think later in this round and in round number three, we're going to see a lot more punches being thrown and landed from Kapanen. Because right now, Golubova is just exerting more energy. Kapanen looks like she keeps on more so backing her up. The onslaught of Kapanen. Very confident is Kapanen. Nice movement there. He's able to avoid that strike from Golubeva. <laughs> Looking for an opening, both women. Ooh, ooh. Golubeva got down low that time. He was looking for a right hand of the body. Oh, and she really tagged Kapanen good that time. Now she's looking to dig in. You gotta pick your spot. Well, she's just not gonna stand there and take it anymore. Something clicked, something snapped inside of Golubeva, and now she's ready to fight. Throwing hands. And now, once again, this round is going to be coming to a close very shortly. And time. time. Mm. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael, I like the way that this fight is developing now. It seems like uh, Kapanen really got into a rhythm at some point, and that Golo Bebo was just kind of going through the motion. Uh, but. I saw something right there in round number two where Golubeva just had enough. And she's like, whatever I'm doing right now is really not working. And something just snapped inside of her. And she really started to lay it on thick on Kapanen. Take another look here. As, uh, you know, that's what you have to do when, when you mentioned how confident Kapanen looked in there, how comfortable she looked in there. Yep. You cannot allow your opponent to do that to you. And I don't know if it was something her coach said or something that she felt inside of her, uh, but Golubova really stepped on the gas there in round number two. And I'm hoping she comes out here in round number three with that same kind of an attitude. Final round. Final round, round three. Here in Salt Lake, Estonia tonight. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh man, boy, these two are really letting loose now. Swinging away here. KOK 100. 
Oh man, what an exchange there. Up on an evading still. These are the kind of boxing matches I like to see where they just want to mix it up. This is not going to be a 12 round heavyweight fight where they just jab, jab, jab the whole time. I think round number three is going to be fireworks here. Oh. Hit each other almost simultaneously that time. Yes. You can see that Golubev is tiring out just a bit. Look how her hands drop every time she moves back. They drop way down, almost to her waist. There they go, very low again. Whereas you can see at a distance, Kapanen still got her hands up real nice and high, guarding her chin there. Also, there's a lot to do with the last two days, even the day before your match and the day of your match, especially the day before the, your nutrition. How you load up. Match prep. Make sure you got energy in that tank. Mm, she caught her that time. Nice shot by Golubeva. Oh, and a body shot that time. A tricky little low hook that time, looking for the liver. Coming up on one minute remaining now in the contest. There we go, last minute, underway. This third round is pretty close, but judging by the other previous rounds, I think that Golubova is going to need something real big here if she's going to win this thing. Mm -hmm. mm, oh. She tagged her again. Got to take some risks. They're going to run out of time. Less than a half a minute left. Good right hand. That was nice. And second hammer goes down. Now, got to swing away. Take some chances. Take some chances. Last seconds. And we're out of time. Oh, wow, fantastic closing round here between these two ladies in a pretty impressive boxing debut for Sigrid Kapenic. I would say so, yes. See a big smile on her face over there. I think that she feels pretty confident in her performance here tonight. And in my opinion, I think she should be. If we go back and take a look at some highlights here from round number three. Boy, they really went at it tooth and nail in that round. Golubeva, that was probably her best round of the fight. I just don't think it was enough to take the victory home, but she certainly rang it there. Brang it? Brang can be a word. <laughs> I swear I'm a native English speaker. She Br definitely brought it there. Uh, is it brang or brung? Bring brang brung, I think is, isn't it? <laughs> she definitely brought it there in round number three. And Ritas Kuzmenka has just brang us the decision. Let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivet presents KOK World Series. We are live. Dream boxing super fight. After three rounds, by points two one the winner is red corner secret company estonia man oh man another split decision that's three split decisions in a row ladies and gentlemen it's just how close the matchmaking has been here at kok 100 from talent estonia we're glad you're with us and ladies and gentlemen don't go anywhere the co-main event of the Heroes series is up next. We move back to kickboxing rules and 75 keys.